afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Shopping Car Patrol Lady coming to you live from the Any Lazy Car Syndrome headquarters. It seems that one of the most controversial and interesting topics of today's societal times is this question of whether or not we should be returning our shopping carts. Let's take a deeper look as Dr. Leslie has made another news source channel and she is the one that is actually helping to bring more awareness to this topic. What are your thoughts? Let's take a deeper look. The debate that has people divided. Do you return your grocery cart to a corral in the parking lot or leave it near your parking spot? I'm not returning my shopping cart. And you can judge me all you want. Clinical and forensic psychologist Dr. Leslie Dobson raising eyebrows after posting this video on May 30th. The video getting nearly 12 million views. I'm not getting my groceries into my car, getting my children into the car, and then leaving them in the car to go return the cart. The mom of two says she first heard the debate on the radio and based off conversations she's had in her field, says she made this video with the intent to raise awareness of moms and children being unaware of their surroundings. I wanted to make the video to empower people to say, trust your instinct. It's okay if you don't feel safe to not return your shopping cart. Thousands reacting online. The reactions on both sides of the aisle split. Some saying not returning a cart is rude. Others agreeing with Dobson saying they wouldn't leave their kids in the car alone either. People who don't return their shopping cart are benefiting from everybody else doing the nice thing, which is returning their cart. Because if nobody returned their carts, then it would be chaos. I think that's also why this resonates. It's sort of like, I'm doing the nice thing, and you're not sort of doing your part. People didn't watch the whole thing, but now it's turned into such an important conversation, and I'm so happy that people are talking about this. Dr. Leslie has a 100% valid point in those extremely rare scenarios where our gut is telling us that something is wrong and we are unsafe. It is completely a-okay to abandon your shopping cart because our lives are more important than some potential damage or the craziness that can happen with those shopping carts. But for Dr. Leslie to use this scenario as a rationalizational crutch for the majority of the time to not return our shopping carts is not, is not smiled upon. Let's take a look at another societal issue that is treated on a far smaller scale, but yet way harsher at the same time. Littering. We are supposed to clean up after ourselves and keep our environment free of all the junk, of all the trash, and be respectful and courteous and do our part. We are penalized, we are ticketed, we are fined, we are held accountable. And that is for something really small as a piece of trash. Yet for something this grand of a scale, no one seems to want to do their part and make everyone else's lives miserable and inconvenient. Don't you think we should be penalizing lazy cart syndrome? I think that we should. And to sum this up, in honor of the shopping cart theory, it holds very true. You can tell the character of a person if they return their shopping cart or not. Laws need to be set into place so that we can end lazy cart syndrome. Thank you for your time.